So savvy is basically like an extension of Meg. So Meg, out of drag, is actually pretty shy, but I do have a lot of political opinions. So I kind of use savvy as an instrument to yeah. share those ideals, those thoughts, in a creative manner that would actually be more digestible for people because ginagawa niya lahat kung ano man yung gusto niyang gawin. Tapos ngayon, nilabas ko siya. So ito na si Dolores. Ganun. And also, Dolores is baklang may pek pek. Hello, ATB fans. It's your host, Gabriel. And we've had drag kings and drag queens on our show. But have you ever heard of an AFAB queen? An assigned female at birth queen. So I'm joined by Savvy Tan and Dolores, and they're going to take us through the whole, whole world of their part in the drag artistry. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome to At The Back Door. Today, I am joined by the bio queen, not bio queen, AFAB queen. Right. We'll get to that later. Savvy Tan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Ah, and you look wonderful, by the way. I know, right? Yeah, great. <laughs> Catch the mug. But if one fabulous AFAB queen is not enough, I am also joined by the oh-so-comical Dolores. Dolores. Hi, everyone! <laughs> so I got a really fun fact for you. When we were writing this show, we came across a really, really big communication barrier. I don't speak Tagalog. I don't speak English, but I just speak English. Yeah. So let's see how this goes. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, so drag. Yeah. Can you describe your type of queen? I identify as an AFAB queen, but it's commonly known as a bio queen, but there is like some sort of discussions about whether or not it's a political, like, politically correct term to use yeah. for, especially in drag where there are a lot of trans women who also participate in the art. So the term bio queen kind of sort of invalidates. So that's why we use AFAB, which is assigned female at birth. So technically, AFAB queen siya, pero I consider myself as a non-binary person, mm -hmm. um, not a cis woman. Ina-identify ko yung sarili ko in my soul na isa akong bading bakla, bayot, ganon. <laughs> Tapos, meron akong katawan ng babae. Like, yung femininity ko, femininity? <laughs> Yun pa rin yung gusto kong, gusto ko pa rin siya, ganon. Love ko pa rin yung katawan ko, yung body ko, pero yung yung sinisigaw ng puso ko, ng utak ko, ng ng soul ko is gay. So non-binary. Okay. So wala talaga yeah. akong identity, hindi ako babae, hindi ako lalaki. Bading ako. I hope you guys understood that. They you did. Yeah. <laughs> so can you please describe me with your drag persona? Well, um my drag persona is Savvy Tan. So Savvy is basically like an extension of Meg. So Meg out of drag is actually pretty shy, but I do have a lot of political opinions and societal like issues like my opinions on that as well so i kind of use savvy as an instrument to yeah. share those ideals those thoughts in a creative manner that would actually be more digestible for people because in drag you can actually like share your message for people to understand and like digest it easier because it's in a creative art form rather than just saying it outright yeah i understand so, yeah. i think i get it yeah, because and every time I see drag queens, okay, just them, because that's what I'm more used to. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. Honestly, I would like to try that sometime. But Do it. I feel like their confidence is just out there and they can really live a personality that is always inside of them, but they just need like maybe the physical appearance yeah. to really come out and Yeah, it's the it's the same for out. me because yeah. I feel like being in drag, it's just such a transformative experience and seeing yourself in like the whole I hate to say this, but like, full fantasy of it. It's re <laughs> it really just uplifts you and makes you more confident. And yeah, I can imagine. I, mean, I don't even want to meet Meg at this point. Sorry, read. honestly, I'm yeah, bad. bye, anyway. Meg. <laughs> well, well, basically, actually, true because I'm a very shy and introverted person out of drag. So you, like, seeing me right now in the Sagittan yeah. form, it's very different from who I am out of drag because. Out of drag, I literally just like say, staying at home in my computer, okay, writing yeah. every now and then. Yeah. But I do believe that like I'm a very creative person, and drag has been like the perfect outlet for that. Okay, but not to be insensitive, you say creative person. Do you have to be in drag to be creative, or when you're like in Meg, you at least have to put on a wig and you're like, now I can write. No, no, it's not like that. But it's the confidence that comes in with the okay, wig. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My drag persona is Dolores. 
Si Dolores kasi, ano siya, para siyang 80s queen, 80s na tao na nasa loob lang yung kulo niya. Pero kapag mag-isa lang siya sa bahay, sobrang Mm, sobrang kulit niya, sobrang ginagawa niya lahat kung ano man yung gusto niyang gawin. Tapos ngayon, nilabas ko siya. So, ito na si Dolores. Ganun. And also, Dolores is baklang may pekpek. Ganun. Mm. They told me what that meant. Pussy That's with right. pussy with pussy? Ah, no. gay with pussy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but then, what is your act? Like, because I, I'm assuming you perform. Yeah. And uh, comedy, no? Yes, um, I do. Uh, I do perform, but in a comedy way. Okay. Like, full of face actions, like do oh, this, like nice. that. Like gestural comedy. Yes, and books. like very theatrical. Yeah. Okay, that's mm. cool. But no music. With music, of course. Okay. Do you sing? <laughs> no. Oh. But Savi sing. Maybe she should sing, and then you'll just act how, oh, yeah. like interpreted Let's... dance, you know. We can do. <laughs> and then who was your inspiration? Myself, me, and I, me, myself. That's that's joke. That's a joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was waiting. But hindi ka tumawa. Because I don't understand what you're saying. No, I'm kidding. That was in English. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My inspiration is actually Gottmik. Um, Gottmik is a drag queen, ah, okay. but out of drag, he is a trans man. Pero hindi ako trans man. Parang nagkaroon lang nung napanood ko si Gottmik. Sa ako lang nalaman na pwede pala. Pwede pala kong sumali or pwede ko palang gawin yon even though trans man siya, tapos ako, non-binary ako. Okay, yeah. May room pa pala para sa akin na maging drag queen. Yeah. Parang siya yung nag-open ng door for me. The biggest drag inspiration, like the the person that really pushed me to see that like, oh, this is possible for me is Sigourney Beaver. She's a drag queen who's also an AFAB queen. For a second, I queen. thought you said her name incorrectly. Not Sigourney, like, not Sigourney Beaver. Beaver. No. Oh <laughs> Sigourney Beaver, because okay. she's an AFAB queen. All right. Yeah, okay. and she's a drag creature. Her drag, it's basically like, um, like, I hate to say this, but like spooky drag. But that's like the easiest way for people to understand what a drag creature is. Yeah, because seeing her and using her feminine body to actually elevate her drag even like further, it's just so inspiring. Like, okay. oh my god, I could I could actually do that too. Like, this is possible for me. Is Beaver because I think? I yes. Love yes. 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 <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right. So the drag scene, it's like to the naked eye, I would say it's a little complex. It is. Because we had uh, drag queens on our show and that's like the ones that we're more familiar with. We had a drag king that I thought, you know, if you have a drag queen, you must have a drag king. Yeah. But now we have the AFAT queen. queen. Yes. Can you tell me your experience and in the drag scene? Well, in the Philippines, I, I guess internationally as well, there aren't really a lot of AFAB representation for um, the drag community because, I don't know, a lot of people just feel like drag is just for gay men and yep. trans women, but that's not the case. There's so many different kinds of drag and like we have our drag kings, drag queens, drag creatures, and my drag just happens to fall under drag queens. And it's kind of like the umbrella term basically. Yeah. And I'm an AFAB queen. But I know that there are a lot of people who don't really consider us real queens or would try to invalidate mm -hmm. my type of drag because I was assigned female at birth. To that, I, I honestly just don't agree with it because drag at its core, it's about breaking boundaries. Yeah, and I, like, I can see that. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, what's even, what's even like more boundary breaking than gender fuck, right? So... <laughs> Right? Never had to look at anything in the way of like, oh, it's gender fuck, you know? <laughs> but it's okay. right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like um, with a lot of drag queens who are AFAB, it's a hyper-feminized version of yourself. So it's not you, like your cis woman self. Mm -hmm. It's celebrating extravagant femininity. That's what it is. Yeah, so okay, it's I, still I can drag. understand that, yeah. yeah. Who do you think would do it better, women or men? Oh, that's so controversial. We're not going to answer that <laughs> at all. But you can Anyone share can. your comments. It's like, who can do it better? We'll get the answer. <laughs> no, no, we joke, we joke. Don't comment anything. So what is your acceptance like, you know, being a queen, a non-binary, AFAB? I don't want to make any mistakes, so I'll say everything. <laughs> yeah, yung acceptance naman sa akin, like for um, family, sobrang tinatanggap nila ako bilang 
si Marge out of drag na being non-binary and also they also accept me sa pag pag the drag ko sa pagpa-perform ko kung ano talaga ako um gustong-gusto nila like sila pa yung, sila pa yung nagsasabi na tinatawag pa ako ng parents ko na bakla ganun so which is I love ganun <laughs> tapos sa community naman nakakatuwa kasi may mga tumutulong sa akin yeah. and sa amin na na opportunity katulad ng ganito Ibig sabihin, tanggap nila kami, ganun. Yeah. So you feel like, you know, you're supported by everything around yeah. you, right? Mm-hmm. But then what would be like the struggles? You know, because I understood that you also competed in um, that the show Mood Mudrakels. Mudrakels. Struggles is English? Wait, hold on. Um, nahihirapan lang ako ngayon. Siguro sa pera, money, money. Yeah, same. Kasi send us money. Yeah, send us money. Book me. Hello. Hi. Walang pera. <laughs> Being a drag queen kasi, mahirap siya. Tsaka magastos. Uh, yun yung kailangan kong i-invest ngayon sa sarili ko. Kailangan kong ng pera. Kaya ako nahihirapan ngayon kasi wala akong pera. Pero thankfully, katulad nga ng acceptance kanina, may mga tumatagap pa rin sa amin. So may mga tumutulong sa amin. So, but you don't feel any certain like uh, in the drag scene itself with drag kings and all these things, you don't feel like you're an outsider or something similar to that? No, um, di, pa na, di ko pa naman na experience uh-huh, yung okay. ganong yeah. ganong experience. Yeah, so it's just the money. Yes, yeah, just, like, just the money. I need the money. Give me the money. Well, <laughs> luckily for me, I've been surrounded by a very accepting group of people in the drag community, but I do know that it's not the same everywhere. There are other AFAB queens who don't ex- who do not have the same experiences I have within the drag scene. I know that the, my drag sisters accept my drag as is as it is. I think there are some people out there who still don't see my drag as real drag because I haven't been booked for any gigs. So she, you what's won, the tea? You won a drag contest recently. Yes, I right? did. I what did. was the name again? Mudra Health. Yeah, yes. She told Check me it this out. like a million times and I keep forgetting the word. <laughs> but we're going to link them as well down below so you can watch her performance winning drag show. Yes. Great. You know, coming to the last question, how do you want drag to evolve? I'm, I'm not sure. What, what do you think? Like, is it like in a whole or just for AFAB queens? I think drag as a whole. Yeah. Yeah, because drag is ever evolving. I mean, mm-hmm. right from the roots and history of drag, it always changes, right? It's ever changing. So I feel like in the future, I really do want to see more inclusivity and also like intersectionality within the community because we are so used to seeing the same type of drag especially in the philippines but there's so many different kinds of drag out there and we need to celebrate that because other people have different experiences and stories that they can put in their drag and that just gives you a whole new experience of like when you're watching i mean it's a whole new experience because like you're also taking in them not just their drag it's because that's what drag is it's an exclamation point of who you are i'm kind of curious now how i would be you should do yeah. it <laughs> you should do it comment down below if i should yes yes you should, you we'll should. See. so as a non-binary queen gusto ko lang ipaalam sa mga tao dyan sa labas at sa mga nanonood nito na magkaroon pa ng maraming opportunity hindi lang yung katulad ko na non-binary queen kundi yung iba't ibang klase sa LGBTQ plus community na kaya nyong gawin kung ano yung kaya kong gawin. Thank you so much, Savvy, Thank for being part well. of this. Really, really happy to have you. If you guys want to know more about Savvy Tan, please, we linked all her socials. Her Instagram, Facebook, OnlyFans, everything is there. Thank you, thank you so much, Dolores, for coming onto our show, and I hope you had a nice time. So if you want to know more about Dolores, her GCash is linked down below. <laughs> yes! Together with her Instagram, Facebook, and everything <laughs> with it. And that was our episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I was blessed to be joined by AFAB drag artist, now I'm still getting used to saying that, Savitan, and non-binary drag artist, and a little bit AFAB, Dolores, who, through the power of communication, we were able to do this. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys learned as much as I did. And please like, share, subscribe. Put this video out there. Let people know about this. And until then, I'll see you guys all next time. Again, thank you so, so much, ladies. All of question now? This was enough, right? Yeah. Okay, just to be sure. Okay. They, they answered it in Tagalog. Or... Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I did not understand. Jack, I only heard like a lot of bad words, I feel. No, that's not a bad word. Just, it's gay, gay I know, words. I know, but for me, when I learned Tagalog, 
it was only like, oh, bakla mo. And then it's like, whoa. 